implode. Have mercy. Did you see the pictures, y'all? Did you see them? Because I saw them. Did you see them? Because if you didn't, you're living under a rock. I seen the pictures of... Oh, Lord. <laughs> it's just crazy. It's crazy that it happened, like, back to back. Almost. From Twitter, nipple pierces, all of that. I knew, obviously, I knew about the whole Cassie pictures. I forgot who told me. I think it was my friend Kareem. And he showed me the link, but there was like two birdies covering her nipples. So we couldn't see that. But it was clear it was her. And that's all I seen. I only see two pictures. Until I found out later on that she had pictures. Like Gia TV said, like Gia said. For those of you who watch her, which I'm going to be trying to post a video response to her so people can, you know, show love to the video. But anyway, um, like a pap smear. You know, when your gynecologist is checking you out, the doctor's checking you out down there and all of that stuff. I'm like, whoa. Or when you're getting your pussy eaten out. How about that one? <laughs> I was like, oh my damn. Whoa, what is, ooh, y'all some freaks. They some freaks. We wasn't expecting any of this. The way I look at it is people are saying a lot of stuff. You know, the speculations going on that it had to be Chris Brown, you know, that, oh, with the Rihanna pictures, which the Rihanna pictures came out yesterday. And, um, she, yeah, she's a freak too. There's pictures of her grabbing her ass, and there was a picture of her where, like, titties out and her hand was like down there and all of that stuff and lord it was just graphic as hell <laughs> it was just graphic as hell and um man so anyway like I was saying to a couple of my friends if you gonna sit here <laughs> and take some pictures like that and you don't want nobody to know about it either one don't take them or two don't show your face. <laughs> Duh. Cut it off. Or take it from the neck down. Neck down. That's what Rihanna did at first. But she blew up a spot when she took that little picture in the mirror with the shirt on saying, I love you, I miss you all over the mirror. Speaking of which, when I was watching Gia's video yesterday, she saw a picture... <laughs> She showed a picture of Chris Brown with some pennies on his head. Like he was six years old. I'm like, what in the hell was it? At first I didn't see it. it happened so fast. I was like, what? Whoa, whoa. Back it up. Rewind. And I paused it. I was like, oh my damn. Oh my damn. That is just a mess. Ain't it? Ain't it just a mess? It's a mess. I, I don't know if y'all seen that. I didn't, that's one, not one of the pictures that I seen the first. She was the one that showed me that. I was like, oh my lord, have mercy. What is going on with the world today? Mm -mm. And I wonder when they took that pictures. Was that before the incident happened? Was that after, you know, when they were back together? I don't even know if they're still together now. So anyway, some of y'all voicing your opinions. Some of y'all like, oh, if y'all are religious, y'all like they shouldn't be doing that in the first place. Other people are like, okay, they're supposed to be role models for these girls. And especially with the situation that happened with Rihanna and Chris Brown, she really definitely don't got no business doing that. You know what I mean? Which is just crazy. And some of y'all just like, the hell with it? Is they business? They grown? Let them do them. The way I'm looking at it is like this. Yes, they're grown. You know what I mean? That's one, that's one way I'm looking at it. I'm looking at it in two different perspectives. One is, okay, they're grown. Let them do what they want, you know? Especially if Rihanna's taking these pictures for Chris Brown, her man, whatever. Let her do her, you know what I mean? But at the same time, it's not smart. You cannot get mad about the fact, which Cassie obviously isn't mad. She's like, um, you know, y'all act like y'all never seen titties before. Bitch, your pussy was out like you was a porn star. I was about to get you eaten out. It wasn't just some titty pictures. I thought it was until I seen that other stuff that was going on. Okay? So don't be trying to make it say like, oh, yeah, it's not that big of a deal. Yes, it is. 
Especially if you got some kids looking up to you and everything. And Rihanna, this isn't the best thing that she could do with the whole situation that happened with Chris Brown. You know what I mean? That's why I, I lost kind of like some respect for Rihanna. I never spoke about the whole Rihanna and Chris Brown thing because I wasn't around. I see that they're both wrong in the situation. Chris Brown shouldn't be sitting here beating on no female. You know what I mean? He shouldn't be beating on no female. I'm sick and tired of the Chris Brown fiends acting like Rihanna set him up. Or acting like, oh no, it wasn't that big of a deal. Then you see those pictures? It looked like she got a mask on. She looked like the elephant man. Okay, I'm not trying to crack any jokes. But she looks like the elephant man and everything. And those pictures of what she got beaten up. And you're going to try to tell me it ain't that serious. I like to see Chris Brown hit you like that. And you said, trying to say, oh, it ain't that big of a deal. Oh, please. Them Chris Brown fiends, they, ugh, oh, they so, ugh, oh, annoying. So, anyway, it's a serious, it was a serious situation that happened. Yes, they're entertainers, you know, that's their own personal life, but the personal life got brought in up out there. They're just humans. They're, they're humans, they're just like anybody else, you know, but the fact that they're in the limelight and A-list celebrities and that it happened, it's not a good look, especially with the fact that Rihanna went back to him. I don't know if she's still with him now. It doesn't seem like it, but at first, she seemed like she went back with him, you know, pictures of Chris Brown with her family in Barbados and all that stuff or whatever afterward so it's like yeah it's just not a it wasn't really it's still not a good look for her as far as that situation and the fact that these pictures came out at one point that's how one way to look at it but like I said they are grown so hey what whatever y'all do you mm. yes so some pictures came out yesterday I, I go to concreteloop.com some pictures I seen. I seen some pictures of Mario. I, I just want to throw this in there. He got really buff, ladies. He did. Mm. You know, he was fit before. But I was thought that was Flo Rida. Real talk. Because I was really looking at the face. I was looking at the biceps. Dub. Flo Rida has um, tax done or whatever. But still, I was looking at that. And I was like, ooh. That's nice. And I looked up and seen those Mario. I was like, oh, snap. I don't know if he taking steroids or whatever, but it's working for you, boo. It's working for you. Anyway, um, so yeah, nothing's really been going on with me that much. I, I think I just started making videos about what I feel about the media and what's going on. So yeah, um, thank you to all the new subscribers, the people that added me as a friend. Please, if you're going to subscribe, like I said once again, if you are going to sit here and watch my videos, can you rate can you comment? Can you give me some feedback? Your opinions? This is what I'm here to do this for. Having your opinions on everything. How you feel about my videos. I would really appreciate that one. <laughs> yes. But um, I guess that's it for now. Oh, I had my interview last week Tuesday. I don't know if I already talked about that. And I did really, really good. I guess there was a group of people on Tuesday and then another group on Friday. The group on Tuesday, we all did good. Apparently, I did the best out of everybody. <laughs> Well, you know. And, um, there was another group on Friday. That Friday. They didn't hear no, my job training teachers didn't hear any feedback this week. So, we'll see what happens, guys. It's between this week or next week. Whoever does get high, they're going to start Memorial Day weekend. Because the store's not finished. But, you know, just to, like, put up stuff and set up the store and everything like that. So, wish me luck, guys. Pray for me. And love you guys. That's all there is to say for now. Bye. Oh yeah, by the way, my allergies are acting up. I don't know if it shows, but it's not it's not like that now. I probably sound a little bit stuffy, but Lord, for the past the past couple of days of the week, it was horrible. And then yesterday night, all day I was sniffling. It was almost like I had a cold, but my allergies have always been bad. I remember living in the nurse's office in elementary school not being able to go outside for recess because that's how bad my allergies were. I take allergy medicine all the time because it also controls my asthma. I've had asthma since I was like eight months. But anyway, so excuse me if I'm looking a little rough or if you feel that I'm looking rough or whatever. I don't I don't really know. I don't have no swine flu. That's another thing. Don't try to clown me. I don't have any swine flu, alright? I don't. I hope I don't. How about that one? I hope I don't. Another thing, this is getting out of control, y'all. With the mask and all that, I understand maybe if you're a celebrity and you're riding a plane or whatever the case is and you ride the plane all the time or something like that, but y'all are not doctors. Don't wear the mask. Live your life. Live your life. Okay? 
Um, yeah, people need to chill with all that. They're like, I'm sorry to inform you, but you have swine flu. My friends are like joking around. Fuck y'all. Anyway, that's all I gotta say for now. Wish me luck on the interview, guys, and pray for me and subscribe and comment and rate and give me topics for I, for um videos that you want me to talk about or advice or anything. Love you guys.